Hey guys, so today is a quick little NARS haul. I showed you um, a couple things already, but I kind of hinted at the fact that I'd show you the rest of it, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I really had no reason to make these purchases, really. I don't. Um, I can't justify it, but I figured I'd show you anyway, because they're pretty stuff, and maybe give you some ideas, um, show you some stuff you've never seen before, so that is that. So the first thing, I actually ordered from a couple websites. First is the NARS website, narscosmetics.com. Um, never ordered from them before. Pretty cool. They had free two-day shipping, which really helped um, kind of push me to make that purchase. And I don't know if they still have it, but I used the code Sierra, S-I-E-R-R-A, and it gave me 20% off. Like, whoa. So all those factors kind of combined, and here we are. <laughs> and then I ordered from Perfume Emporium and got a little set. I don't know if you've heard that website. It's kind of like a, it has like designer perfumes that I believe a discounted price. Kind of like a general kind of beauty website. It's kind of, I don't know, like kind of hectic. So, um, but it had what I needed, so I got that. Um, so yeah, I'll start with the NARS order from NARS Cosmetics. The first one you've already seen, this is the NARS Scented Moisturizer in um, the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in Finland, number, light number one, because I am the pale person, so I got the pale one. Um, I did a whole review on this, so check that out if you haven't. Um, for those of you that did, thank you for your sweet comments. Uh, I really did appreciate that, um, that you appreciated the work that I put into it, so that was kind of cool, so thank you. I love your feedback, love it. Um, but if you haven't checked that out, then that's the, that has my thoughts on that, so I'm not going to go into that. Um, I actually only got three things from this order. The fourth thing my mom actually gave me, she made a massive order. Whoa, my mom went crazy, whoa. Definitely let me know if you want to see what she got. Um, I okayed it with her if you want to see it. Um, but definitely let me know, and then I can show you her stuff. Just to show you the colors, swatch them, um, etc. Um, but... She did get an eyeshadow trio, but she didn't like how it looked on her. And so I, as a nice son, politely offered to take it off her hands. Um, it also helps that I really wanted the eyeshadow trio and had been lusting over it for three months. And it just happened to fall into my household. So it worked out really well. I'm like, Mom, I'm like, no. I was like, it's totally cool. Let me take that trio off your hands. I will put it to good use. So... I did, um, and it is Deuce France, so trio packaging um, looks just like a duo or a blush, same size. Kind of exciting, my first Nars trios. They are, they are 45 bucks a piece, so I definitely recommend considering the shades, thinking about whether you'd use them or not. If you, know, if you love the shades and you feel like you would rock them and use them a lot, um, Nars eyeshadow is such nice quality that, you know, I would say sport Donna, but... If you would use it one time, then don't get it. Like, it's, you know, something you have to think about. But, um, here is Deuce France. And this came out, there you go, Deuce France. Which I believe means sweet France. Um, like, I thought Deuce France like, soft, but apparently it means, like, sweet, too. Like, sweet France, like, romantic. This came out with their spring collection, spring 2012. And, like I said, the second I saw it and saw reviews and swatches, I was like, I need that in my life, but I don't want to splurge on it. So... My mom's really sweet because she got it and didn't like it, so now I have it. So, thank you, Mommy. I love you. Um, so, yeah, it looks like this. And it's basically like a soft, like a highlighter, pinky, beige color. And then like a petal, kind of petal pink. And then this, this is like the best shade ever. Not kidding. Um, it's described as like a deep rose. And that kind of hit me. Um... And I'm like, that's like a legit deep rose color. Like, rose is used to describe, like, the softest pink. Like, anything with, like, a hint of pink. They're like, oh, it's a rose. Like, no. This is a rose color. Like, let's be real. And I didn't have anything like this, so I really wanted it. But like I said, I couldn't justify getting the trio myself just for the one shade. But it happened to fall into my hands. So, of course, I'm going to show it to you. Um, so, yeah. I have these swatched over an eyeshadow base, both of these trios, just so they can show up better. Um, you know, some of the shades are sheer, but they're intended that way, so you just kind of have to analyze whether you would, whether you like that or not. I kind of like a sheer shade sometimes. So there is the highlighter color, really, really soft, barely detectable, but it's there. It's a nice highlight. Then there's that really pretty soft pink, 
And then the rose. I love it. Um, I would slather it all over my eye, but it looks a little scary that way. So, um, yep. So there's two fronts. And then the one that I got is from their summer 2012 collection. And it's called Ramatuel. Ramatuel. I don't know what that means. Um, sorry, I forgot to look it up. If you know, maybe leave me a comment. And this is so cool. This is Nars's idea of like a neutral eyeshadow palette for summer, but it looks like this. It's so cool. It has like this silver, right? And then this peachy gold, and then a matte apricot. Like, what the heck is this? I don't know, but I thought it was such a cool idea, and I definitely wanted to try it out for sure. And these are shades that I know I'm going to use. They're beautiful together for a really interesting look. He kind of wanted to contrast the cool tones of, like, the silver with, like, the warm tones. And it's perfect. Like, it's such a cool look. Um, but they're nice separately, too, to mix with what you already have. Again, the apricot, kind of like the rose, was, like, that factor that's, like, you need this palette. Like, get it. Um, so I did. Um, yeah. So cool. So pretty. So refreshing for summer. And here they are there. There's that, like, silver, that peachy gold, and then the apricot. I love it. And nails, by the way, thank you to Purse Buzz for the idea. It's like a nail ombre. Thank you, girl. So cool. Um, I have these on my eyes, both these trios. So, like, silver in here, like, the pinks in the center. I have the apricot through here, and then the rose. So just to give me an idea, um, not the most wearable look, but I just wanted to play with the colors. So there's that. But me dig them, me dig. Um, if you like them, definitely know. Let me know what you think about them. I think they're so cool. So next we have a multiple. This is my first full size. Sorry, it's, it's like a lot more in the back. Um, Nars multiple, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically like a cream stick that you can use for multiple things, as the name implies. This is Copacabana. Copacabana. And this is basically, sorry, it's not Copacabana. It's basically like a silvery pearl color. It's basically like a highlighter. I have this all over my face. I, you can use it as like a cheek highlight, brow bone highlight. I have it as a base for my eyeshadows, center of the nose, Cupid's bow. Anywhere you want to add like a really pretty soft focused light to the face, it's perfect. Not like a glitter ball, not super shiny, not greasy. It's like that perfect amount of shimmer just to kind of highlight um, and add dimension to your face. I love it with the tinted moisturizer and some bronzer for like a really pretty natural summer glow. That's what I kind of got it for. Um, but here it is here. I just kind of swiped it on. Um, so pretty. So um, if you feel like you would use something like that, maybe um, go swatch it, check it out. But it's so cool. And finally, um, there's a little set I got. So this is from Perfume Emporium. It's like a little lip gloss set. Isn't this cute? It has five shades, as you can see, peeking through the little holes there, and it says NARS there. This apparently came out in the holiday collection a couple years ago, um, but like I said, I found out on Perfume Emporium. And the reason I got the set, okay, you're going to hate me, um, <laughs> is for this one color. But, kind of like the trios, I thought, I am going to use the other colors, so it's kind of worth it. It was like 60 bucks, but for five um, shades of NARS lip gloss which are normally 24 piece. Me, knowing that I'm never going to use a full lip gloss, it's kind of perfect. Um, but it has these shades. So the main reason I got this is this puppy right here. This is NARS Blood Work. Blood Work. It's basically a red lip gloss. I had seen about this, heard about it, just pushed it off, and by the time I finally thought, I want that. Of course, they discontinue it, not on the NARS website anymore. I couldn't find it by itself. The only way I could find this was in this set. So, I got the set. Um, so, yeah. But I'll go through the other shades first and end with blood work. But they're so pretty. The rest of these are permanent. So, just um, a nice way to build up my NARS lip gloss collection. I love their formula. And, you know, again, it's something that... NARS is a higher price point. But if you want that quality of lip gloss and you like the feel... Etc. It's worth it. I find I that's it is to me. Um, so first we have Triple X, which is just clear, which is NARS clear lip gloss. 
which, you know, I have clear in, like, a tube, but it's nice having a doe foot um, for the convenience, or if you just want to wear it by itself just for some shine. This is Striptease. It is basically, like, a peachy nude color. Kim Kardashian digs this color, so if that means anything to you, <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. I like I like owning shades that Kim Kardashian likes. I don't know. That makes me feel better somehow. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it's a nice, like, peachy nude. So pretty. The next here is Harlow, which is like a silvery mauve. Such an interesting, like, nude color with, like, a silver sheen. Really interesting. This one's cool to kind of tone down the lips and add, like, an icy kind of froth to them. Really nice to layer. That's fun. Next there's Orgasm, which is, you know, his universal, um, his well-loved peachy pink with a golden shimmer. It's pretty... I literally, once I put this one on just by itself, I just sat, like, I was just staring at my lips in the mirror. Call me vain. I don't care. I was being vain. I was like, look at that shade on my lips. Like, it is so pretty by itself. Love it. Just that, like, little hint of something, something on your lips. Ugh, go try it on. And then the whole reason for buying this set, um, again, me being a shallow fool, is um, blood work. I love it. It's basically a red lip gloss. There is probably something similar in the world, but I'm a NARS snob, and I wanted the NARS one, and, yeah, and I love it, so it was worth it to me, so that is that. It is right there, and it is, oh my goodness, like, seriously, like, look at that. It looks like, like, blood. It's like blood. It's like sticky, like, oh my goodness. It is just so nice. I kind of want to do a look at this. Let me know what you think like, a really nice, juicy red lip with that gloss, and then, um, I don't know, something else, but it's so, so pretty. I would have worn it in this video, but I kind of wanted to, um, tie something in with the eyes a little bit, so I went for this lip. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, this makes my world better. It honestly does. So, that's my poor justification. Um... Yeah, so if you own any of these, let me know what you think, or if you want to check any of them out, um, or you're inspired, or anything, just definitely let me know. Um, yeah. That's all for now, guys. Bye.